What is going on College Hoops fans? The other day we had some breaking news as one of the top transfers still left in the portal, Pete Nance, has committed to transfer to North Carolina. Now this is such a huge pickup for the Tar Heels and we're going to break it down and get right into it in just a minute. I just want to say subscribe if you guys are new because we do a ton of college basketball content here on the channel. Yeah, guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so last season, Pete Nance for Northwestern, he averaged 15 points per game, 6.5 rebounds per game, 3 assists per game, shot 50% from the field, and shot 45% from behind the three-point arc now those stats are pretty good he did play for a bad team in northwestern but this is such a huge pickup for the Tar Heels because they are returning four starters but they are not returning their power forward brady manic but pete nance can step right into that role he can play that role amazingly like i said he shoots 45 percent from behind the arc as a power forward. I mean, that is like a perfect replacement for Brady Manic. He's going to be able to shoot the rock, spread out the floor, and get you some rebounds as well. This guy is a perfect fit for what North Carolina has been doing. I wanted to take a look at how stacked this roster actually is because the starting five is nuts at the one you got rj davis of course last season he averaged 13 points per game four rebounds per game and four assists per game then at the shooting guard position you have caleb love he averaged 15 points per game three assists per game and three rebounds a game and then you got Leaky Black returning at the small forward position. His stats don't show all that he does because he only averaged five points per game, four rebounds per game, and three assists per game. But he is an excellent defender. He's definitely one of the better defenders in the country. I like his game a lot. He plays his role amazingly, and that is huge for this team. And then at the power forward position, you are going to have newly acquired player Pete Nance. He, like I said, 15, 6, and 3, 45% from behind the arc. I mean, that is the perfect replacement for Brady Manic. And then at the center position, you got Armando Baycott, one of the best players in all of college basketball. Averaged 16 points per game, 13 rebounds a game, and 2 blocks per game last season. He is going to be a absolute monster this season. And this starting five truly does have four guys that can average 15 plus points per game and get 20 plus points per game on any given night i mean that is just huge i really do think that caleb love and rj davis are could take huge steps up forward this season it might not show in the stat sheet just because they'll be spreading the ball around so much but the key reason why I think North Carolina is going to be even better than the team that made the national championship last season is because they have a much, much better bench. And I want to talk about that bench. You got Puff Johnson coming off the bench. I believe he'll probably be the sixth man, especially with his performance in the national championship game. I really thought that he stepped up and played pretty good in the championship game. He is going to be a key player for the Tar Heels next season. Then you got Dontrez Styles, DeMarco Dunn, and then Justin McCoy, who all could take steps up. I mean, you really don't even need all of them to take steps up. Only like maybe one of those players to take a step up coming off of your bench. And then you got two studs coming out of recruiting. Seth Trimble, a four-star point guard. I think that he could be a future star and he will probably take over after RJ Davis leaves at the starting point guard position. He is a beast. Then Jalen Washington, also another four star. He is a forward. He could be a key player off the bench as well. We will just have to see, but this is definitely a much deeper rotation than last season because throughout the tournament they only really played their starting five like pretty much the entire game so having that depth is going to be very very key for north carolina this season I'd like to talk about earlier i think north carolina are the favorites to win the national championship next year and it's really not even that close i mean the other teams that i think are going to be very high contenders are gonzaga kentucky Arkansas, Creighton, Houston, but I don't believe that any of those teams are on North Carolina's level as far as what their roster holds. With the experience that they had of making it to the national championship game last season and being so close they got a taste of it, I believe that they are going to be hungry to win the national championship next season and that is why these four starters did return wanting to win the championship for North Carolina. And then 
like I said, returning four starters, that is huge. And then their fifth starter, Brady Manick, who graduated, they got a perfect replacement for Brady Manick and Pete Nant, a guy who can stretch the floor at the power forward position, averages a bunch of points per game. I mean, that is an amazing replacement. They really don't have to change much of what they did on offense because he can spread out the floor as well. Deeper bench, which I believe is the biggest key. Hubert Davis has done an excellent job picking up Pete Nance, keeping this team together, and I'm very excited to see this team play next year. I believe they will be a top seed in next year's tournament and will be the favorites to win it all next season. But that's all I got for you guys here today. Thank you guys so much for watching.